Stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our National Honor Society induction ceremony. This is a challenging time. We always love to do our ceremony in person where we can see the smile and faces of our students and our parents. But due to our challenge right now and the circumstances, we have to come to you through online means. Congratulations to our inductees this evening. We're very proud of you on behalf of our West Islip High School community. You have shown us that throughout all kinds of challenges that you can overcome. One of the pillars of the National Honor Society is service. And this time it's very difficult to do the service that you require to go into um, businesses and, and really support and, and help people. But you have still done by any means necessary to get through that process. And we talk about being resilient. And you are students. So on behalf of our West Islip High School, congratulations on being inducted to the National Honor Society. Hello. I am Superintendent of Schools Bernadette Burns, and it gives me great pleasure to have this opportunity to acknowledge the inductees to the National Honor Society. I am disappointed that we cannot celebrate your achievement in person, but it does not lessen how proud I am of you, and not only of the honor itself, but what you had to do to attain it. Your achievements are acknowledged by your induction but maintaining success in the four purposes of the society is important as you take each step forward, and the perspective you gain with each step will help you evolve into clever, competent, creative, and compassionate world citizens who have vision for how to make this world a better place. You have demonstrated scholarship by proving your commitment to learning and growing, despite a hybrid schedule that would exasperate the most committed and organized student. You have engaged in meaningful service by seeking opportunities to support others in ways that sometimes involve the most creative undertakings and activities. You have shown leadership by taking responsibility for your learning and actions and participating in a school environment that is very different from that which you entered as a ninth grade student. Your perseverance, respect, Integrity, honesty, and sacrifice underscore your character. Not as clear to see in the virtual world, you still have established yourselves as good and honorable individuals. Parents, guardians, caregivers, and that includes grandparents, thank you for giving us the opportunity to work with such fine young people, particularly in such challenging times. I applaud each of you because this type of success does not happen by accident, and your involvement is an advantage that money cannot buy. In closing, I congratulate the students for this honor, and on behalf of the entire West Islip faculty and staff, I am very proud of you. I trust that each one of you will strive to live up to the expectations of your community, your school, the National Honor Society, and most importantly, yourselves. To this year's inductees, we know this has been a challenging time to do just about anything, from something as simple as getting your Chromebook to load in time for a Google Meet to the more daunting undertakings like staying diligent with your schoolwork and extracurriculars in a time where really everything has changed, it's definitely been an adjustment for everyone. Still, you've all demonstrated that you're some of the finest students and citizens this school has to offer, and so we're asking that you carry these qualities into your future here at the high school and wherever you go beyond graduation. Last year, when our class was inducted, there wasn't much time before the pandemic began and we went into lockdown. 
So naturally, just like everything else, most things that we would have done with natural, National Honor Society either looked a lot different or never really got underway at all. And we think the feeling with society in general is that soon we're going to come out on the other side of this pandemic. And while a lot will still be different, it's also going to be about redefining the things we've always done and the things we're passionate about. That'll be the job of the class of 2022 with National Honor Society. With the four pillars as your guide, we're confident you guys will be more than capable of showing you know what it means to be a part of this group. We wish you all the best of luck in the future. Hello, I'm Lauren Boundy, President of the Tutoring Board. I would like to take this opportunity to recognize Vice President Mia McCandless and our Secretaries Alexa Camilleri, Lindsay Pritchard, and Angelina Manuel Griffith. The basis to which this organization was founded upon and the characteristics that each member should strive to emulate in their everyday lives are known as the four pillars of the National Honor Society. Each pillar will now be presented. I would like to introduce Andrew Palmer who will speak about leadership. Leaders take the initiative to aid others in a wholesome manner throughout their daily activities. Leaders sacrifice their personal interests in order to help others. Leaders need wisdom and self-confidence to affect change in all aspects of their lives. Displaying leadership means that you influence others to do something extraordinary. A leader is someone that is not afraid to stand by his or her decision even if no one else is standing by them. A leader has a drive to change the world into something better. A leader is a person everyone looks to for advice, confidence, and a smile. Someone who overcomes obstacles each day, not for himself, but to better the lives of those around him. Being a leader means that you have an innate belief that the sky is never the limit and that anything is possible. Character is what distinguishes one individual from another. It is the product of constantly striving to make the right choices day after day. Students with good character demonstrate respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship in all of their actions. Character means having the qualities of honesty, courage, and integrity. Honesty requires that you display fairness in all activities and situations, even when it means losing or experiencing a negative outcome. Courage involves acting honestly with confidence and resolve, even in the face of opposition. Integrity is having the courage to stand by your morals, despite peer pressure and competing interests. Character is not something that can be taught, but rather something that must be modeled through example. Scholarship is characterized by a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend the necessary time to cultivate his or her mind in the quest for knowledge. This pillar can only be achieved through diligence and effort. Scholarship means always doing the best work possible regardless of whether or not there will be a reward. Scholarship is not about being the most skilled or intellectual person. It is about having an intellectual curiosity that drives one to not only enjoy learning new things, but to also have a persistence and integrity to apply oneself to understanding difficult concepts. Through hard work, you strive to become a more educated individual that is better suited to initiating positive changes in society. Service is to help another by performing an action or work for someone else. Community service is an essential part of the National Honor Society. Each member of the National Honor Society strives to provide service to the local and school communities for the sole purpose of benefiting others. Members of the National Honor Society perform service not just to satisfy a requirement set by the National Honor Society or for college applications, but to help another by reaching out to them. 
By far, service is something that is vital to society and something that we can never afford to lose. As a service club, the National Honor Society requires its members to give all their school and community at large. Lindsay Albanese. Avery Alessi. Nicholas Aliani. Kristen Arena. Amanda Balcunes. John Basile. Nicolette Basile. Julia Bearden. Ashley Bernstein. Robert Bernstein. Andrew Bishop. Joseph Blackton. Harrison Borer. John Bonneberger. Jarrett Bosch. Cadence Braga. Mia Brandenstein. Kiara Brannigan. Marissa Bressy. Madeline Brownyard. James Burns. Tyler Bushing. Olivia Calabretta. Haley Capadora. Gabriella Caparelli. Jacqueline Carini. Craig Cassidy. Nicholas Casalino. Drake Castingoy. Annie Chambers. Kyle Sonati. Lily Colonna. Giovanna Compatello. William Conroy. Thomas Conza. Cassidy Cullen. Alexander Zarnomsky. Christina Diachile. Olivia D'Andrea. Joseph D'Avonzo. Taylor Davies. Alexander DeVries. Caitlin Dean. Brian DeClue. Carly Dakota. Colin Delaney. Victoria Delgado. Sophia DeMeo. Michael DiBernardo. Mallory Dorr. Max Esposito, Declan Foy, Natasha Franchina, Sean Gabrell, 
Emma, Gaffney, Kaylee, Gagliardi, Dylan, Gagliardo, Jacqueline, Gambusa, Gianna, Gorelli, Matthew, Gassman, Charlotte G. Arielle Glass. Ashley Green. James Gadis. Hope Gustavon. Brooke Haley. Timothy Hanschel, Caitlin Hertzing, Emma Higgins, Madison Haran, Samantha Ismail, Katrina Jablonski. Robert Jensen, Ashley Kachitanowitz, Juliana Kotarski, Kaden Kruer, Christina Laeta, Jagger Langhorn. Dylan Latarja, Aiden Latham, Sophia Lacassi, Valentina Leone, Victoria Leone, Anna Latiri. Thomas Lynn, Nicholas Lapari, Conrad Masejny, Daniel Malimo, Matthew Mangiamelli, Olivia Marker. Emma McDonald, Nicholas McElwain, Aiden McNally, Alec Miller, Zachary Miller, Gabriel Millet. Grace Minio, Aiden Mueller, Robert Murray, Connor Mushorn, Emma Mushal, Rosemary Nasta, Kirsten. Nizen Ryan Novara Taylor Nutter Stephanie Oliveri Anthony Onetta Leah Parascanola Christina Pascarella Brooke Patricola Alexandria Patton Mark Perigin Jenna Perone Miranda Phillips 
Joshua Pite. Joseph Pirapato. Michael Rabin. Olivia Ramke. Frank Regia. Darian Rivera. Alexander Romeo. Rose Rupoli. Lucas Ryan. Alana Santiago. Kayla Sowers. Nicholas Scarmozino. Bryn Scharf. McKenna Smith. Megan Spence. Erin Thaxter. Jacqueline Triglia. Natalia Valenti. Christina Vega. Connor Villano. Nina Westerland. Faith Whalen. Michael Wass. Emma Zetkowski. Congratulations to all of our new inductees. Everyone, it's my pleasure to represent the West Islip Board of Education as we celebrate this year's class of the National Honor Society. Induction into the NHS requires excellence in several areas, and that kind of success never happens by accident. This accomplishment happened because each of you aspired to it and made the decisions necessary to achieve your goals. You chose to study a little more, practiced vigorously, and gave up your free time to help others. Each of you has set lofty goals and consciously made the sacrifices necessary to achieve those objectives. Along the way, each of you has distinguished yourselves in classrooms, concert halls, athletic fields, and civic organizations. In doing so, you have represented yourselves, your families, and our community with honor. To honor you in return, the West Islip Board of Education would like to present each of you a golden apple pin. We ask you to give that pin to the one teacher that has made the greatest impact on your life. That golden apple will represent the bond of learning and inspiration shared by you and the teacher you choose. As you move forward, I urge you to keep striving for greatness in everything you do. Even more importantly, do it the right way. Continue pushing yourselves by taking the most rigorous courses, pursuing your co-curricular interests, and giving back to your community. Keep your word and treat others with respect. In short, pursue your aspirations with integrity and decency. I have complete confidence that each of you can do just that. I also want to congratulate all the family members watching this video. Great accomplishments do not happen in a vacuum. The path to success always includes times when advice, help, and even the occasional nudge is needed. Each of you has played a vital role in the success of our inductees because your support, encouragement, and love are their foundation. Congratulations to all, and thank you. In closing, I'd like to remind you that tonight is not a culmination of your hard work and dedication. Instead, it is the beginning. All of the characteristics that you have exemplified in order to be inducted into this prestigious organization that is the National Honor Society should be a roadmap for how you continue to live your lives. As you go out into the world and achieve amazing things, do so with compassion for others. As you advance and become great leaders in our world, do so in service to those who aren't as fortunate. These are the characteristics that make us proud of you as West Islip students, and these are the characteristics that make us proud of you forever. Good night.